What's up, world? Gilbert Blaze is back. Now, I've been getting a lot of mail recently asking me, where have you been, Gilbert Blaze? Why haven't you made any videos? To tell you the truth, guys, I've been really uninspired to talk about wrestling as of late. It's been really lackluster. You have a few things going on that's been kind of exciting, but as of late, I've just been kind of like stalling. Now, I have been lurking on YouTube, giving my comments to a lot of good videos out there, but now here's my opinion on what happened last night on Survivor Series. I'm not going to give a full review of it, but I will say this. I'm happy that Edge is back. I'm a big Edge mark. I love Edge. And to see him come back the way he did in typical Edge fashion, being the ultimate opportunist, taking the title from Triple H, shocking that Triple H took a spear, but of course he had to get hit with a chair shot just to make things even more believable that the fallen hero has gone down. So let's hope that Edge has a pretty decent long title run. I'm wanting to see an Edge Jeff Hardy food. It's looking like the direction is going to go to that. Vladimir Kozlov, who knows what's going to happen to him. Triple H, I hope he takes a little step back. But I don't think Triple H is out the water just yet. But a Jeff Hardy Edge feud would be awesome. Now, I have been off and on about Jeff Hardy for a while. I have been liking his new, new style of Jeff. You can see a darker edge to him, the face paint that we once saw when he was in TNA. So I'm, th I'm liking this darker edge to Jeff Hardy. I hope he goes with it. I don't want him to see, see him turn to a heel. But definitely not now after what happened with Edge. So Edge, Jeff Hardy feud should be good. Now John Cena's return. John Cena's the new champion. I'm not surprised. I'm not a Cena hater like I used to be. You know, I'm sure. Oh, I just can't wait. Can't wait to see PS Power new video. Let's see him bitch about John Cena again. Surprise, surprise. But yeah, Cena's the champ. And we'll see what happens with that. I, mm, I will say this, you know, he's probably going to feud with Jericho for a little bit, but I don't see anyone anywhere else where he's going to go with. You know, Randy Orton seems kind of preoccupied with other things right now, so I guess they're going to save off that Randy Orton uh, seen the feud for a little while back. And then you got Batista as well, because you know Batista got to always be in the title hunt. Could be a Batista Cena part two. I will say this, their first match was really good, so I did enjoy that. So we'll, we'll see what happens again with that. But Cena's back on Raw now. Can't wait to see Raw tonight. We'll see what happens with that. The ratings may kind of lackluster as of late, so let's see if Cena kind of picks up the ratings. Now, on to other news. Women's wrestling. Yes. I know a lot of people are not going to be really high about the Women's Survivor Series match. I actually liked it. Yes, I know. I'm going to get out of crap for it. The star of that match was, without a doubt, Maurice. She beat three people. Mickey James, Kenneth Michelle, Kelly Kelly. Maurice has been stepping into her own. She has a great character. She has like this evil supermodel character that I've really been digging. And her ring work, yes, it needs to be a little bit more work, but she's getting there. And people need to give her some credit. Now, the Divas title ain't worth shit. We all know that. But let Maurice be the, the Divas champion at least once. Let's see if Michelle McCool's going to actually drop that title. But Maurice, I'm really happy with her work so far. Overall, the Survivor Series pay per view was decent. I know it's not going to get that many good reviews, but I would say it was a decent show for what it was. Now on to other wrestling news. ROH is coming back to New York next month, and they're going to be having Final Battle 2008. I bought my tickets for that, so me and my friend will be going. Can't wait to see that. And also, New Jersey Pro Wrestling is going to have a show next month featuring Low Key, and I'm going to go see that. I've never seen Low Key live. I always want to see him live, so looking forward to that as well. Now, this will talk about a little bit off of the wrestling stuff for a minute. Barack Obama's new president. Extremely happy about that. Yes, you know, a lot of people are going to put a lot of pressure on him. There's no way he's going to change his country in four years. Let's be real here. Bush left a big mess for him to clean up, and it's going to take a lot of work. So, all I'm looking for Barack to do is just to put our country to the right direction. Let us see how us go to that step that forward where we can just pick ourselves back up again but the economy is so bad right now the economy is affecting everything right now and it's really scary right now it's a really scary time for our country because the economy is so bad so it's going to take a lot of work for all of us to get back up again also i want to talk about uh proposition eight for those of you who don't know california pretty much banned gay marriage but in terms of just banning gay marriage they pretty much make gay people second-class citizens, which really pisses me off. And even though I don't live in California, it still affects me because that can happen in New York. So there's going to be a huge war brewing towards gay people and uh, gay people fighting for their rights, basically. There's going to be another civil war brewing. I already see it happening. We see rallies happening all around the country, all around the states. 
it's going to happen. So it should be interesting to see what happens within the next few months with that. But overall, guys, I've been really busy with work. I've been really busy with dealing with stuff in my life. And I'm going to try my best to come on YouTube more often and make more videos again. I know I've been really lackluster with it, but I've just been so lazy and so into doing other projects lately that I've been kind of preoccupied. So once again, thank you all for all the emails, all the messages wondering where I've been. You know, for those of you who don't know, I do be on Skype a lot. So if you ever want to talk to me on Skype, feel free. And I uh, hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Let's eat a lot of turkey. I know I will. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Talk to you soon, guys. Peace.